Hi everyone, welcome to Unacademy Neat English. I'm your biology educator Ambika Sharma and today I'm going to tell you about the anti-neat bill. Many students, they are thinking, especially those who belong to the southern part of the India, they are thinking that in their states there will be no NEET examination for NEET 2024 and uh, they will get admission as per their marks. Right, this is what they are thinking but actually it is not the case. So, today here I am going to tell you everything about this anti-need bill, right, that what is going on and it should not affect, basically the idea is it should not affect your uh, preparation, right. And you know that when it comes to the need examination, sometimes we are not getting the the clear instructions from NT about the syllabus deduction. We are not getting so many things and you know that when it comes to the NEET examination, uh, you know, many political agendas, many, you know, many things from the NTA side come in, right? So, NEET examination is always like that. We always have some news about it. Okay, so now students are thinking about it and they are thinking now what to do. Like, you know, it is our tendency, right? We get distracted easily. So, just to avoid that, that is why I'm making this video so that you will get an idea that what exactly is this anti need bill. And let me tell you, students, if you belong to the state Tamil Nadu, then especially this video is for you. So listen to me very carefully. Actually, right now, what is happening, right? Anti need bill, even it was, you know, uh, proposed a year back, right? So in the state Tamil Nadu, they don't want the, even the current government, they don't want the need examination. To, uh, right, they don't want the NEET examination to be there in their state. They want that they should be exempted from the NEET examination. They want to give admission as per, you know, their state examination or as per the 11-12th marks, right? This is what they want. Now, why? Why is it so? Why are they against NEET examination? First of all, let me tell you this and then I will tell you the scenario which is going on. Actually, which before NEET examination, if you know, there used to be AIPMT, All India Pre-Medical Entrance Test. Right. So, if you want to take admission in India, in any part of the India, you have to qualify this examination as per your marks, you will get the admission. And other states, they used to take their own, you know, examination, medical entrance examination for giving admission in their particular state. And uh, in the Tamil Nadu, they even used to, right, the students used to get admission on the basis of their marks, whatever they have studied till 12th, as per their marks of class 12th, they used to get the admission in the medical colleges right it was the scenario but uh, after 20 uh, 2017 right need was compulsory for all the states right so it was uh, compulsory uh, it was compulsory to you know get admission after clearing the need examination only okay fine Okay, fair enough and it is even important because when states used to conduct their different medical examination right it is also a burden to that state also so if we are conducting one common entrance test so all the students right all the students will get the equal opportunity so obviously the need examination in this way it is good also now what is happening in Tamil Nadu in Tamil Nadu before this need examination if you uh, check the data if you check that data you will find out that in the medical colleges more students were there from the rural areas because at that time they were getting the admission as per their 11 12th marks okay so more students were there from the rural areas in comparison to the students from the urban area now because this neat examination it follows the cbsc curriculum okay and if you talk about the curriculum of the tamil nadu state it's entirely different if student wants to go to the medical college, they have to crack the NEET examination. So, separately, they have to prepare for this NEET examination, right? So, obviously, they have to pay fees to the coaching industry. Then only they can prepare for the NEET examination. So, because of all that things, what uh, what is happening? The students from rural area, they are not, right? Some of them are not capable of, you know, uh, giving, uh, some of them are not capable financially to pay for the coaching and to, clear the exam and to get admission there. So, what is happening after NEET examination, right? In the medical colleges, the students of urban area, their number is increasing in comparison to the students of rural area. Moreover, the suicide rate is also increasing because students, they are studying something different till 12th. And after that, after that, right, they have to prepare in a different way for an examination. So, obviously, it is creating, right, it is uh, creating a problem, right, they are burdened, they don't know how to handle the stress and even the suicide rate is also increasing. So, even the, you know, uh, the previous government and the current government, they don't want the need in their state. But need examination, it is good in one another way also that there is no corruption, right, earlier because state colleges, they were giving the admission. So, uh, you know, corruption cases were also there. 
the colleges used to demand for the money so all that scenarios were there so that is why even the central government decided for keeping a common entrance test but in tamil nadu if i talk about the tamil nadu as i said the syllabus curriculum is different the rural urban area even these are also the factors so as for state government because this is what they promised that they will ban this neat examination why because it is increasing the suicide rate and students are not students of urban area and rural area they are not getting equal opportunities that is also the point so in the so as per this nt neat bill right that 85% of the seats right when it comes to the counseling no doubt 50 15% is as per all india quota but 85% is as per state so they want to take their own examination or they want to you know uh, give admission as per the 11 12th result that is mainly the scenario now what happened is like here you guys can see that tamil nadu chief minister mk stalin on monday wrote to president draupadi murmu seeking her consent for legislation that seeks to do away with neat in the state saying each day of delay in its implementation cost not only valuable medical seats to deserving students but invaluable human lives to our society uh, to our society actually the problem is few days back a student right he ended up his life because he was not able to clear the neat examination in his, in his second attempt it's a very bad thing obviously he was not able to handle the pressure and after his suicide his father was not able to deal with that situation and even he ended up his life which is again very bad scenario and i really don't have words to you know say anything about it to be very honest now uh, before that like that person requested the government that you promised it that you will stop the neat examination please stop it one case and secondly the governor of the state tamil nadu he was there in one felicitation program right so uh, the parents of neat aspirants one of the parent one of the parents of that neat aspirant he asked governor that you should stop this neat examination in our state i know my son has qualified this examination but he was under tremendous pressure and i don't want students to face it so we should stop it and governor said that no he if, first of all uh, it is not under his authority and if it will be he is not going to stop that why because he it is a, he is having his reasons like because it is reducing the corruption rate right so that's good but as for the as for the right uh, current government as for the state government they want to they want to end this neat examination in their state right and obviously because of the suicide rate and as i said rural and urban ratio as well so now currently in the tamil nadu state right the pro protests and all are against the governor why uh, you know that governor and state uh, uh, state ministers they should work together but right now the situation is different because he is supporting need and as per the state ministers as per the health minister especially that need examination should not be right should not be there so that is basically the case and now right it depends upon the president if president if she will approve it right that okay fine your state is exempted from the need examination then right then obviously there will be no neat examination in the state tamil nadu but if she denied then of course the neat examination will be there so it should not affect your preparation because everything is under the discussion yet right so here you guys can see this is what you know cm tamil nadu cm mk stellan want and if i talk about the governor as per governor given to me i will never clear neat bill because as for him right as for him it is uh, uh, if there will be no need then obviously the colleges what are they doing they are asking for the money then there will be the more corruption rate so that's the point so mr ravi he added that the bill had gone to the president since it was a subject on the concurrent list of the constitution so basically the president is going to decide everything now so if there will be any change right if there will be the like in their uh, right, right so now president is going to decide on that so after that whatever will be the result will let you know but it should not affect your need preparation and let me tell you this thing very clearly students life is beyond any examination right any examination means any examination right now you are preparing for something so badly right you are preparing for something so 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 badly and you are thinking that i'm not able to qualify that doesn't mean you should end your life you are going to learn something from that preparation you are going to learn that discipline in your life and trust me sooner or later you will do wonders in your life right but that doesn't mean if you are working hard you are not getting that thing and you should end up your life no not at all as a teacher consider me as your elder sister i cannot tolerate it right there are other ways also and yes there comes a time when we feel low right talk to someone literally talk to someone liberate your emotions and that pain is for that particular moment only right that is that pain is not for your life 
you can do wonders just trust yourself and uh, if you are feeling anything low i always used to say you have my telegram id telegram group love biology by ambika you have my telegram id you have my email id please reach out to me please reach out to me i will talk to you but please stop doing all that things and even if in your surrounding you are feeling right you are uh, you are feeling that someone is you know low please talk to them please help them right life is beyond any examination just keep it in your mind take care all the best thank you